Welcome to the last two episode of Dark Brotherhood Storyline playthrough. Found Uther's messenger in a room at Silverhorn Inn. A strange noise sounded from a nearby room that did not immediately concern the agent. The messenger asked again if the agent had found the listener. Did the agent tell him? Another assassin? Sound the alarm! The first battle is pretty easy and fun. Just fill your deck with cards that cost 5 or more magicka, as you will start with 5. And of course don't forget about some draws. Treasury had already been assassinated. Garnog had succeeded in his mission. So where was he? The agent faced a choice. Should we sneak in and assassinate the leader? to talk to the boss you'll need to go through us your destruction is at hand to win here take the best last gas creatures to your deck and the left lane trigger last gasp when you summon a creature there also some silence cards would be nice to prevent double last gas for enemy creatures
Yours have your compatriot. Then we have a common enemy. I will send some of my men to help you assassinate the rogue. It's the Eclipse. We've been betrayed. If you'll excuse me, I need to go finish off the eclipse later. The night mother plans it, after all. The ancient investigated the strange noise at the end. And found Gornog being tortured. In this battle actually any type of deck can win, but the best option here is to take some cards that make something when they lose war.
they kept asking about the listener. Uh, said this forgive me. I told them she was here in Bravo. They didn't tell me who they were, but I heard them mention a name. Uther. With the assassination of their leaders, the gang war intensified. Amidst the violence, Alazan dare not leave the Night Mother's side. But Garnok's tale seemed to enrage the listener. She soon told the agent why. When I was a young woman, my father murdered my mother. I ran and joined the Brotherhood, swearing that someday I would use the Assassin's art to end him. His name is Uther Mir, and now I know he's in Bravo. At long last, the Night Mother has given me permission to end his life. I need you to find him, but don't kill him. Lure him to me. His life is mine. Ah, my wayward agent. You might have told me the listener was in Bravo. My torturer is most suspicious of you. You say you can lead me to the listener? Good. I will come and ensure you finish the job. At last, the Night Mother's Crypt! Men, burn it to the ground! And you, my agent, kill the listener! What? But I thought... You thought you had a loyal assassin. The most skilled you'd ever seen. No, my dear. Your trusted lieutenant has been my agent from the beginning. Now, my friend, fulfill your contract. Kill the listener! In the final battle, if you have chosen the Dark Brotherhood side, like I did, the best option is slay creatures as well as some cards that boost slay rewards.
this moment is pretty unexpectable and tragic. One of enemy's cards is a card that kill Elisan and break all your bonus max magicka. I'm not sure by the way if the story can end in different way if you are lucky to not trigger this prophecy. So you offer to try it. succeeded in killing his daughter, but the agent had ensured that he paid for his vile crimes with his life. Thanks to the agent, Garnog was able to escape with the Night Mother, ensuring that the Brotherhood would live on. Nog is not sure if this is a tale of victory or defeat. As I said, my friend, some tales have no heroes. Only people in the darkness searching for a glimmer of light. <laughs> <laughs> 